like I feel it for the first time Been thinking about you all night I've been searching for this all my life You're just my type I've been looking for a boy who can treat me right You're Hey guys, welcome back to Miss V's channel Don't know what I know If you're new, welcome to the family Welcome to the madness To all my old subscribers What is this? To all my old subscribers welcome back and i hope you have all been keeping safe we're getting back to some normal what they say is normal but until then make sure you are washing your hands and keeping safe so guys for a couple of weeks now i've been really struggling with what gin talk i should give like i haven't done a gin talk in a long time like before i was doing it every other day every other week every month and i just haven't been coming up and i feel like the gin talks that i've given previously are so educational so powerful that the next one i do had to have the same impact on people like the others has to take out man so hold on guys it's really hot so yeah i'm in my pajamas i'm getting ready to go to bed but i thought to myself let me do a quick gym talk for you guys um and let you know that i haven't forgotten about you i know some people really like my gym talks and find them very educational so i do understand that you've been waiting for a long time but here is it today so this one is it doesn't really mean that much to me because it's never happened to me but i feel like it shouldn't be happening in 2020 like i don't understand how people are still falling for this like i don't understand so guys, this video is going to be about being catfished in 2020. Let me sip my drink. I'm so loud. So guys, how is catfish? MTV show still in business Tell me it's been running for like 10 years now Don't people already know That people are doing this out here people are actually catfishing you like I don't understand you meet somebody online and They tell you they don't have a phone that has a camera Are you being serious? are you being for real you can't be being for real here because every single phone unless your phone your phone is a um a drug dealer phone yeah can video call whatsapp instagram S -S snapchat facebook your your phone your iphone or your android all of these things can video call and take pictures right and then people and then then they get oh my camera's broken so you don't have no camera you have no phone and you have no computer and you have no way of letting me know who you are so how did you get on the dating site how did you post your picture on this dating site like you are not answering all the right questions here you need to be asking like hold on a second this is 2020 2019 like this is not for real like you don't can't be for real that like, you're actually falling for someone that you've met online that you've been dating and then the worst, the killer ones yeah, are the ones that are like oh yeah we've been online dating for 10 years 10 years 
you've been online dating for 10 years with someone that claims they do not have access to a phone or a computer or some type of technology because you can even buy TVs nowadays that you can video call. So please tell me how you don't have access to all of these things in 20 in 2000s like come on come on seriously you lot can't honestly believe what this person is saying to you yeah also let me tell you something here some girls and some guys they may find they may think to themselves that they're not all that they're not as sexy so that's when they tend to steal other people's pictures to make themselves something that they are not like i've watched catfish some of the pictures that people use you know that's not them you, there's no way in hell that is them and don't you question don't you question these things you need to let me tell you something yeah you don't need to educate you lot self yeah and notice yeah the red flags yeah i can't stress this enough when you are dating online you need to take the precautions you need to to make sure that you are talking to the person that the picture is of do you understand don't be waiting six months one year now it's 10 years down the line and you still haven't met and you still don't know what this person looks like and they're still coming with excuses that they don't have a phone then to make it worse not only are you dating online you're sending them money money to somebody that you don't know does that make sense because it surely does not make sense to me why are you sending money to someone that you've been dating online that you don't know what they look like there was an episode I, I, you lot have all probably watched this the man the girl was catfishing another girl and but the catfish was a man was the, the catfish was um no, no no i've got this wrong the woman yeah the man the woman was talking to a man as, no, how can I say this? The woman's voice anyway was manly. So the girl thought she was talking to a man, but she was talking to a girl. So you cannot be sure. Oh, they got their cousin to chat for them. Like, you don't have to be careful, seriously. Because in this time, there are serious people out there that's trying to do you harm and are only talking to you because they want to harm you. You need to be careful who you're talking to online. You need to make sure that the person that you're talking to is the person in the pictures. If they tell you, let me tell you something here. If they tell you they don't have a phone or they don't have a camera, blah, 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 give them a certain amount of time because there's no way that you and none of your friends or family have a phone where you can't send me a picture like you're not asking the right questions do you understand what i'm trying to say and the reason i'm making this video as well is because i'm watching 90 day fiance yeah and this black woman is on there claiming she's in love with this man that she met in england that that they've been talking online and he's from england now on the first episode this man called her phone yeah and i said that man sounds like he's nigerian you understand i said that straight away yeah and when they start do the investigations now the phone number in itself yeah is registering to nigeria she goes on instagram one day next day all the pictures have gone then she getting an email saying oh if you don't pay me this money, I'm going to send out all your explicit photos. Like, if you don't know, you get to know. Don't send no nude pictures of your body where somebody else can tell that is you. Yeah? So if you've got a beauty spot here 
and you take a picture, somebody's gonna be able to tell that's you because you got a beauty spot there. Or if you got a tattoo on the top on the top of your for JJ, yeah, and you take a picture, somebody's gonna know that's you. So that's one that is a red flag. That's a no no. You don't do that. Yeah. Back to the topic. Now, the hot side. The hot side, yeah, that is mainly on catfish is POF. And so many people are on this side, and so many people are being catfished. And some people actually pay their money to this site to be catfished. Because you guys ain't asking the right questions and you're not doing your investigation. For me, I'm not dating nobody online for more than three months without seeing their face it's not gonna happen it's not gonna happen why are we dating why are we dating if we can't see each other and when i'm asking you for a picture you can't send it that is a red flag then you arrange for the third the first time you say okay let's link they don't turn up red flag but then again an emergency may have happened and it didn't happen okay cool second time hmm Lightning don't strike twice. You understand? Then you need to start thinking and start educating yourself and start thinking something is dodgy. The next thing is, if you're being catfished by someone that lives in your town, in your city, in your borough, in the United Kingdom, and you ain't seen them, something is dodgy. You need to start thinking to yourself, what is going on? Because... There is no way, no way that we can live in the same city, borough, ends, United Kingdom, and you can't get to see me. Train, bus, coach, whoever how, yeah, and furthermore, if you can't come see me, let me roll through, because I need to make sure you're the right person, yeah? When you start asking these questions, yeah, they will start thinking that they've been caught out. Then they will probably block you and stop talking to you. But you need to start asking these questions from the beginning, yeah? Can I see a picture of you, please? From before you even exchange numbers, emails, texts, whatever, before you give out any information, you need to be asking these questions. Can we video talk? I don't want to hear your voice. I just want to see your face. I just want to make sure that you are John. And not that John is Sally. You don't want that. Ask these questions. Because in 2020, everybody has got a mobile phone. Everybody's got a laptop. Everybody's got a computer. Everybody's got something. Yeah, even if they have a drug dealer phone, those phones I'm talking about are the 99p phones that you can get from car phone warehouse. Even if they have that type of phone, they've got an iPhone X. Or they got some type of thing where they can Facebook you. May I go tell you all the apps? Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, WhatsApp, Skype, Viber, all these apps including the app on your phone, FaceTime and Samsung video call. You can do all these type of things, right? So ask yourself the question. It's been three months. I haven't seen him and he can't send me a picture. Is he a catfish? Ask yourself. Some people know they're being catfish. This is the worst. They know they're being catfish, but they go along with it, go along with it, go along with it, and to the point to where there's no going back now. I, I already love this person. There's no way this person can be lying to me. There's no way this person is not who he says he is. Those people play on your feelings for them. Right? Because the more you love them, the more they can continue to say, right, they can't send the picture. They don't have no camera. They don't have this and they don't have that. That's why you need to ask from the beginning before you catch any feelings. So if it turns out to be someone else says no, your feelings ain't getting hurt. It's that simple. Sit down.
so guys this video is going to come to an end but my final thoughts are if you're doing online dating ask yourself the question is this person who I think he is and if you're not sure you then ask right follow your instinct because your, your gut is never wrong right good with that being said guys get your gin ready and enjoy the rest of your night don't forget to like comment and subscribe you don't know how the thing set up most of all share 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 yeah and i'll be back with another video soon bye guys Get you out of my mind